You need my love on replay. 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 Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we are back and the news is coming thick and fast and we're still only in 2019. But guys, we've uh, had the announcement uh, that Cyprus uh, have revealed their singer uh, for Rotterdam and it is Sandro Nicolas. I hope I've got that name right. Sandro Nicolas. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, Sandro Nicolas uh, is German and American. Uh, I believe that his mom is from Cyprus. Uh, there is a, so there is a link to, to Cyprus, and uh, he also uh, took part in the Voice of Germany in 2018. He made it to the semifinals. Um, so yeah, it's w once again another internal selection with somebody from a, uh, a singing competition, which seems to be a running theme. Maybe it has something to do with how the winner from last year was also chosen that way. Uh, so yeah. Jess, I have to say that some, some people don't like where these artists are coming from, like mm -hmm. the X Factors and The Voice. Uh, for me personally, <laughs> I, I really like it because you're getting a performer that you know can perform, uh, they can sing, they've got a good voice, uh, they've already proven themselves. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, I personally don't think it matters where the singer comes from, whether they're from a talent show, whether they're already hugely successful or whether they're unknown. I think all that really matters is the fact that they can sing and they can perform and they want to and they're going to deliver as good a possible performance they can for their country. You know, that's really all that should matter. Like, who cares if he was on The Voice and is now going to Eurovision? Like, why is that relevant? Mm -hmm. oh, well, I, th I think you know you're getting talent and this guy can sing mm. and he can perform because we've seen some of the uh, clips on YouTube uh, since he was announced. Um, it could possibly bring a great result, Stuart. Totally. Again, for Cyprus, they're, they're literally on it at the moment. <laughs> yeah, mission. it would be really great to see them break that second place uh, glass ceiling, if you will. Um, but yeah, I think uh, based on what I've seen, they've definitely chosen a competent singer. And I, I think that has uh, it, it, it shows a little bit of the logic as to why um, certain delegations will choose singers through through these singing competitions that already exist. Um, it, it's also important to mention that he did compete in uh, a Eurovision-like competition this year in Russia, uh, where he represented the U.S. Um, so mm -hmm. certainly he has that experience of being in the singing competition dynamic. Um, yeah, you know, great vocals has done. Uh, I'm, I'm looking at a video right now where he did a cover of "In My Blood" by Shawn Mendes. Um, yes. Yeah, so it, it'll, it'll be really wrong. interesting to see what they bring. Yeah, it's um like we've, we've been talking about Cyprus over the past couple of years. Obviously, like Eleni Ferreira, uh, we've had Tam to both these like really upbeat songs. I have a feeling that we're going to get another big upbeat banger uh, from Cyprus. But on the other hand, I would love them to surprise us as well. Um, in, in terms of kind of his style, uh, something like Sean Mendes-esque would be mm. amazing, I think. And so, uh, so current, so now. Um, and he, he's definitely got the, got the talent to pull it off. Yeah, it seems like it. Um, and, and it is curious to see what, uh, what the song will look like when, when we hear it, um, whether they're going to try again for something that was like a Lenny or like uh, Tamta. Hopefully it will be better than our, our rendition of replay and she saw what you said what <laughs> we're amazing <laughs> yeah well, well we'll we'll try for cyprus next year for 2021 <laughs> um yeah uh, i think that there are a lot of different directions that this could go um I, i'm thinking that they'll probably do better if they bring something that uh breaks expectations because i know that one of the one of the potential reasons that uh, Cyprus didn't do as well as they thought that they might this year might have been because a lot of people saw it as a Fuego 2.0. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I mean, it, it's justified because it was the same production team that was involved in making Replay that did Fuego, uh, minus some of the writers. Um, but I've, I've been listening to, to it more since the competition, and now I actually am picking up on more of the differences that uh, Replay had from Fuego. Um, that said, I... I don't know if it would be the best thing for them to try that for a third time. I think they need something new. Um, but based on on uh, the fact that they've chosen Sandro, it could be something completely different. Who knows? Mm. 
But I think also something like Fuego or Replay, I don't think would work very well with a male vocalist. Um, so I'm kind of, I'm expecting them or at least hoping for them to go down maybe like a more kind of pop rock kind of route, maybe kind of Hovig meets Minus One with a bit of traditional element mixed into it. Mm-hmm. I don't know. That would be quite interesting to hear. Oh, I, I love what you're saying about it. It would, it would be great to have the traditional element as well because you know uh greece have tried that a couple of times over mm. the past few years haven't been so successful but the one thing i love about eurovision is where we get elements kind of national elements from the countries uh, that perform in so yeah it'd be it'd be great even something maybe like acoustic or um mm. be really interesting to see in terms of him as a as a performer we've already nailed on that you know he's got a great image as well um so yeah really happy with this pick uh, for cyprus looks like you're going to do another good job um cyprus tough act to follow with eleni and tamta um mm. but yeah this seems to be uh, cyprus's time really mm. you know non qualifications now they're doing really well back in the final for a second year in a row really excited to see uh, what sandro brings we've got so long to wait though guys <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i hope they don't leave it uh, too long jess before we do the before they do the song reveal they've already started yeah, to tease I mean, us a little bit yeah it's always quite annoying when they reveal the artist and wait right till the very end to give you the song so fingers crossed we get some kind of information soon because you know we're all impatient eurovision fans that want the songs now I think we're the most impatient <laughs> Eurovision fans. Um, but guys, we would love to know what you think of the news that Sandro Nicolas has been uh, chosen to represent Cyprus in Rotterdam. Don't forget to drop your comments down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Eurovision <laughs> channel. Yes, you must subscribe. Um, go to our Facebook page, give us a like, tweet us on Twitter, find us on Instagram, um, but make sure you let us know what you think. Um, we can't we can't sing it out, guys, because I think we were so rubbish. I was going to suggest that, actually, but um, anyway, uh, I was going to suggest that, but... <laughs> go on, Jess, you can it. sing us out with Fuego. Fuego. That's enough, guys. Until next time, guys. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.